when you first you first look at it and uh, you see the majesty of that water you want it to stay like that forever and ever and ever for the for the generations to come and that is the the message that this water brings us is that it it needs to be kept that way because it's uh, there's there's uh, there's rocks there's mountains under under the water and there's sand also there's everything there that uh, that we we need to, to, to take care of for the uh, for the next uh, next generations to come
it's a, it's an easy thing for us to do. And I believe that no matter what, because um, one of the youth said to me, well, Sharon, look at what the corporations are doing. How can we, how can we stop that? And um, that was what I said to her. In fact, she was a young woman from this reservation. When we were walking, she asked me that question. And I said, you know, I ask you every day to go to Lake Superior, put your water, put your stamina down. If you do that every day, that's the most powerful thing that we can do. So, um, so all the South Walkers, would you raise your hand? Yay! <laughs> You know, um, these ladies um, from Missouri, Bowling Green, Missouri, uh, through Iowa and Wisconsin, um, they didn't just walk the water, they ran the water. They moved that water. So, me question. And I say, like, we are all stronger. We are all um, physically stronger, uh, emotionally stronger, I believe, and spiritually stronger for that. Me question. Oh, when Sharon was talking about her uh, when they picked that water up because we were the last group to leave um, we left um, I think May 17th on the train to Churchill it's a 44 hour trip but I went, when I saw the picture of them uh, their bare feet standing on the beach I was thinking about, we're like packing our winter clothes. <laughs> and our picture was taken as minus one in Churchill. <laughs> and we're all bundled up, walking on five feet of ice. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> we weren't embarrassed, people. Um, there's something I want to say when somebody was uh, acknowledging Talon. Um, I was thinking about when I was walking around Lake Ontario, I think in 2006, and Josephine, I don't know why, but she started joking with me. She's like, are you having another baby? And I was like, you're crazy. I was like 38 or something. I was like, no, I'm not having another baby. You're, you're crazy. And I think... Uh, the following March in 2007, I went to see her in Thunder Bay and I was like, I'm having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the, so the first time Talon walked was, I was I was walking, I didn't carry the water, but I was walking with her. She was still in water herself. But uh, I think for that, I always feel like Talon's really connected to the water walk. It's like Josephine even saw her before um, she even came here, so in that way I feel that um, I'm glad that as her mom, and I, I know her dad feels the same way, that that we're able to help her to learn to uh, pick up that responsibility. And, and two years ago when we walked along the St. Lawrence, um, Josephine handed her that, that, that pail, and it, it really seemed at that time that um, because she'd been so involved in the water walks that we kind of, as her parents, we made that commitment to make sure that she would always uh, be part of that and that we would help her when it was her time to stand up for the water. So she was the one who offered the feast bundle in, uh, in Churchill for that water. And it was, we had uh, all their generations represented. We had. Uh, Josephine was there with Gabe. Um, well, actually, they're from the We had three grandmothers. <laughs> we had three grandmothers, Esther, Doris, and Florence from the Paul come up with us. Um, Ira from Rosso River, representing the youth. And um, Talon and her dad. Where am I missing some? We had about nine people. Sue. Oh, Sue, sorry. Sue Shiblow from uh, Garden River, who was our power walker. <laughs> she's, she's not here. She went back um, to the east. Um, when we arrived in Winnipeg with that water, it was such a beautiful event. I know we see some people that from Russell over here now. 
They had a beautiful welcoming for us in uh, inside the train station, and they had drummers singing inside there, singing in the water as it came off of uh, as it came off the train. When I was telling somebody on the train that people would be gathering to um, greet this water, I was like, "Well, there are probably like 20 or 30 people, like, you know, from the station." But when I uh, when I got off, I was the first off because it was uh, just being handed me the, the vessel. When I came down the escalator, it was overwhelming. There was it was just full of people. It was, I'm sure there was over a hundred people in there that, that had gathered to uh, greet that water, and it was uh, such a beautiful event. I know Charlie Nelson. Uh, Chief of the Western Doorway of our lodge. He did a lot of a lot of planning for that, and I told him like when he was telling me on the phone what he planned. I said to him, "Well, that sounds really nice, but when it actually happened, it was so beautiful. It was he couldn't even have described how how awesome that was of um, that greeting. You could feel all that love, and we had a, a lot of really um, good people join us in that walk and. I just feel so blessed to have uh, been given the opportunity to stand up to ensure that our orphan from the north um, got to this place and all of the people who helped uh, carry this water. So from the north, if we lost a lot of our team, <laughs> the original team, but the people, I like to acknowledge the people who helped walk with this north water. And just raise your hand. So I want to say a uh, miigwech to all the walkers today that got this water this far. And um, we did get word from the east. Uh, the east is going to touch down tonight in Ironwood. So <laughs> because uh, this morning. We were given given a report that they were 72 miles away from Bad River, and so then we heard that uh, while we were walking the Bad River, that Flambeau sent uh, 15 walkers over there, and then most of the North walkers went over there yesterday to help them. So they are really. Uh,